Hey guys, welcome back to Cellar Dwellers. This is uh, Hot Bod, Jared. Mega T Jelly, Travis. Okay, Trav, so I was reminded the other day of like a story that had happened to me in high school. So in okay. high school, my best friend, uh, Zach and I, I mean, I, I've probably spoken before of my, I know this is only like our sixth episode, but I'm pretty positive I've spoken of my love for Homestar Runner. Um, anyway, my okay. friend Zach and I were like really into Homestar Runner. And um, there was this one Homestar Runner episode where they are talking about like, um, it, it was like a prank call and uh, Strong Bad had, had called Marzipan, um, like called this person on, on and left a message on their voicemail. And on the message, he had pretended to be like a bunch of different people that were her friends. And they were calling because she had promised that she was going to make them a cake, and they hadn't done it. So they call them up, and they're like, oh, you said you make us a cake. You said you make us a cake. You said you make us a cake. All right, so my friend and I, Zach, decided that we were going to try and do that to someone. Like, just yell, you said you'd make us a cake at them enough until they did it. And so yeah. we, did, we did a dry run uh, on my mom. So he came over one day, like one weekend, and... Uh, I was like, hey, Mom, can you make that cake that you promised us last time Zach was over? And she's like, what are you talking about? And Zach's like, yeah, you said you'd make us a cake. And I was like, you said you'd make us a cake. You said you'd make us a cake. And we just like said it, and she was like, all right. And so she made us, she made us like a carrot cake. All right. So, I can totally see your mom doing yeah. that. All right, so. Hey, good we, Yeah, thanks, bro. Oh, dang. Um, so we, <laughs> glory goes to God on that guy. Uh, and, um, yeah. so the glory God be, yeah, <laughs> the glory God be, um, so <laughs> he, um, so we go to school and we're, we're ready to, we're ready to put our, our, our scam into action. We're going to, we're going to run the, you said you'd bake us a cake scam. All right. So we go in and I, this is like happening like in the, the band room and we just picked someone that we knew that was like super gullible and the, the, yeah. here's how it was going to work it was going to be like I was going to start talking to her like we weren't going to go up together because like then she'd know something was up so it was going to like I was going to talk to her and Zach was going to be nearby and I was going to call him over to you know corroborate our story so yeah. I, uh, I started talking I was like hey Colleen when are you going to make us that cake you promised us last week and and she's like, what are you talking about? I was like, you said you'd bake me and Zach a cake. And she's like, no, I didn't. I was like, Zach, Zach, come here, come here. And he's like, oh, what, what's up? And he like, so he comes over from across the room. And he's like, yo, what's up? And he, I was like, remember Colleen said that she'd bake us a cake? And he's like, oh, yeah, she totally said she'd bake us a cake. And, and she's like, she like started to believe it. She's like, really? And I was like, yeah, we were sitting in lunch and it was on Thursday and you were like, Oh, I'll make you guys a cake because we were talking about how much we wanted to have, like, you know, a chocolate cake or whatever. And you were like, "Oh, I'm not really good at that. I'll make a cake." So she was like, "Did I really say that?" And we we're like, "Oh yeah, you said it." And and she starts to believe it, <laughs> like, and she's and and like, I think we had told one of our other friends that was like friends with her. I was like, J "Just go along with it, and we'll let you have some of the cake." And so someone else, someone else that's like friends with her, like, is like, "Oh yeah, I was there. I remember you said that to him." And, and she's like, oh, I guess I did. Like, all right, I'll bring it in tomorrow. So she made us a cake and brought it into lunch. And we had a cake for lunch. Dude, that's amazing. What kind of yeah. cake was it? Uh, I think it was a, a Funfetti cake. So basically the best kind of cake. My favorite kind, and call me boring, but it's just yellow with chocolate frosting. Dude, my favorite kind of cake is banana cake. It's everyone's favorite. I've never had that. Dude, banana cake is incredible. It's like a better version of banana bread. It's like banana bread with frosting on it. Dude, I just I'm actually not doing too bad. I'm doing I'm doing oh. alright. Dude, I can't believe I just survived that. Somebody totally had my back when I was about to get stabbed. Dude, I just dome rocked someone. Dude, I'm about oh, to get no. behind their lines. Dude, I was almost about to flank them. Think things went horribly right, dude, awry. I'm, 
I'm 110 meters from A. Dude, thanks for using the uh, here. The spawn metric. on me. Are I am. Dead? I'm on you. I'm on you. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. All right, hold I'm on, hold you. on. I'm, I'm reloading. All right, I'm gonna go in and turn right. We're gonna go fast. All right, Ready? let's go. I'm I'm right behind you. I'm behind you. Under six. Check your corners. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. 30 meters. I'm on you, bro. I'm on you. Let's spread out. So if one of us dies, we might still get it. They're going to start spawning on it, probably. Oh, nice! I can't now. Dope. Bro, tell me a story. Tell me a high school story. All right. I, to I told you one. You tell me one. So... I don't know if you ever knew, because we didn't go to the same high school, but you might have seen pictures. Here, I'm going to camp out here for a minute. Nice. Alright. Oh! They're coming. What's up? What's up? Where are they at? He's coming up the steps. Here, no, he's not. Oh, wait. There he is. There he is. Oh, he got me. Are you still alive? Nope. He killed me. Yeah, oh, well, that's so worth it. We, we handled that. <laughs> Well, for a little bit we did. All right, so tell me your uh, tell me your story. All right, so I used to be like one of those scene kids, which was like the step below emo. <laughs> Dude, I, I know about and, scene. Um, I remember this one time at lunch, this girl came up to me, and she was just like being a real brat, like telling me yeah. I had girl's hair. And she closed out with, my mom has that haircut. And all that I did was look at her. And I was like, well, your mom must be pretty hot. And then <laughs> everybody laughed. Dude, you got her. Got her good. It's like, well, you probably got a hot mom who knows, uh, who knows style. <laughs> Bro, tell me, did you have a MySpace? Tell me about your MySpace page. Heck yeah, I did. I still do, technically. Oh, uh, dude, I, I had one until, like, I went to college. And then I was like, all right, it's dead. Bye, Tom. But I friend Tom. Dude, I, I used to be all about that. Like, I'd always have the newest type of technology with it. Yeah. Like, I used you, to did you, know how did to you code in HTML? Yeah. Alright, so tell me, about your, tell me about your page. What do you remember from it? And then I'll tell you about tell mine. Tell me about what? Tell me about your MySpace page, and I'll tell you about mine. Um... I remember the latest, like, when I was still actually using it, I had, like, this teal and black crow background. Yeah. And I thought it was, like, the coolest thing ever, and I had some list of Screamo songs playing. And then I had, like, one picture of me and my brother and my sister. I had something about my girlfriend at the time. I had my comments hidden, and, like, everything was so compact that you didn't have to scroll at all. Yeah. Bro, who was who was on your who was on your uh your top eight besides Tom? Wow, um, I think it was my girlfriend, my friend Vinny, my friend Steve, mine and Steve's band, mine and Steve's like potential recording studio, another band that we helped record like their just beginner stuff, you know? Yeah. And then I think that that was it because at the time that I stopped using it, like. Trav, would you give us would you give us a little a little sample of your uh, your old bands like one of their songs? You mean like put it up or? No, sing just sing it, it for you. us right now. Well, I can't really sing it because it was all like screaming stuff. <laughs> Dude, we'll scream it for us. <laughs> I can't because my baby's sleeping in the next room. Oh, my fiance. Bro, wrecked. Yeah. yeah. All right, so like by Andy Dragon. Dude, let me let me tell you about my high school band. You are you? Did you ever hear about it? <laughs> yeah, you guys okay. were the most popular on MySpace. All right, all right. So, here's the story is. And then I'll tell you another story about okay. Mike after, just because it'll be kind of relevant. All right. So the story is that uh, in high school, um, a friend of mine and I started this this, this band that we were like, we're gonna start a fake MySpace band. And we're, and like, I had a friend, so he's really good with computers. Um, like, incredible good. Um, like he, right, like now his job is that he like, like, legally hacks companies 
like to find out where they're weak and then tells them how to fix it. And so Dude, he was real quick. You could team yeah. kill in this game. Really? Yeah. Anyway, oh dang! Continue. I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, I just did it on accident. You might have to start doing it on purpose. Um. Honestly, I say that that's how we close out this episode. If we start losing too badly. <laughs> Um, alright, so, okay, so, he was like, I'm gonna write this code, or do this thing, or whatever, that will get us plays on this MySpace band, or whatever, that we're gonna start, and, like, we'll just see, we're gonna purposely make the band really bad, just to see if people think that it's popular, because it has a lot of plays. And so, we, <laughs> we, for inspiration, we looked at, like, some weird... Japanese screamo band that was like really avant-garde and it was just like ah like that was like the song it was just them screaming yeah all right like not words just like yelling all right and so we're like we need to give it like a really emo name and so the name of our band was Last Apathetic Letter okay so this is the yeah. so the name of our band is Last Apathetic Letter and we we write this this song so my friend is also really like musically gifted, and so he was like, "All right, I recorded this like the the instruments for this song. Now all we gotta do is sing on it." So he That's just gives me, he just gives me. Oh, you can get kicked. Dang, son. Um. So. Go ahead. He so what he does is um he recorded this song, and he was like, "All right, so what you're gonna do is like, just sing whatever you want. Just make it up," and so. I just, I'm listening to this audio track and I have a mic in front of me and I'm just like going like Like that's, that's basically what I was doing. Like the whole, the whole song, just making noises. And then at one point I just yelled, I was, I, I don't, for some reason I was just like, I'm going to yell a line from Monty Python, but not like a famous line, just like, like one of like the more like, let, like the not so famous one. So I just yelled, African or European swallow, just in the middle of the song. All right. So then, it, so yeah. I, so then the song ends. All right. And then my friend Mike is like, all right, now I'm gonna record vocals. And so he's he goes in over top of mine, and he's just like, sing. And then he just starts going, I don't wanna go to school today. I don't wanna go to school today. Ah! And that's the song, all right. So this, so this really, really crappy song that we make, and I'm we're coming like, back all right. in, by the way. Okay, so we make this song up, and we're like, all right. So here it is. We, we've got this crappy song, and we are gonna like make it have an arbitrary number of like, like uh, listens, so that it'll be at the top of the charts and people will see it. So we start running this program that's doing that for us, and um, we end up with like. Um, close to like a million plays or something, which was like a really, really a lot back then. And um, yeah. And uh, so what what we do is, um, we uh, we had friends that like worked at this thing that was um. Well, hold on. First of all, I need to to note that we on the the MySpace like top music page. If you went to it. We were listed as the third highest after Nelly and uh, Lil Wayne. So it was Nelly, oh my gosh. Lil Wayne, and then Last Apathetic Letter. And it was that way for about a week. Okay, and then MySpace figured out that something was wrong because we only had like, we only had like maybe 20,000 profile views, but we had over a million plays. And so they figured out, they're like, oh, something, something, something's wrong with this profile and they like took it down or whatever but we had a solid run but during that week we had a friend who worked at like this um basically our local newspaper would publish high school stories like once a week and someone like our our band did what we thought it would do and it was making like people in high school think that we were cool and like they thought the music was good even though it was like very obviously awful um yeah Okay, and so our kids come up and be like, yeah. "Dude, I love that song, dude." Yeah, and so they're like, "Oh, did you, you know, did you hear about you know last apathetic letter?" And this girl wants to write an article on us, and we had a friend that was that did that, and the the guy that was like in in charge of like 
deciding if they could like you know if they could write the article and i was like oh i don't know i've never heard of these guys before and my our friend is like oh yeah i've heard of them and then he's like okay you could write the article so this we get called up and we do this interview and we were in the paper like in the in the paper on like the front the it was like the that day it was like on monday is when they would publish it and it was on the front page of one of the sections and like all the people in my high school saw it and they're like you're in a band and the picture that we had was ridiculous it was like me and I, I would just been at Mike's like real band's concert, and I was holding up his keyboard, like an entire keyboard, like it was a guitar, <laughs> and I was like drenched in sweat, and Mike was super sweaty too, and it looked like we had just played a show, and so it looked like we were in this band, and this is like the oh picture that's gosh. on the front of it. Um, yeah, and so we were in the newspaper. I'm gonna Google it real quick. And yeah, dude, see if you can find it. I don't know if it's still up. I don't know if they archived the high school stories or whatever, um, but yeah, so last apathetic letter, the story of my high school band, third on MySpace after Nelly and Lil Wayne. And the name of our, our song was African or European Swallow. Alright, so uh, that'll do it for this episode, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, see ya.